Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss Talk, who your girlfriend favorite? Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique house. It's your boy, he's CEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not none, you know, my dad walk on. But I want y'all to stop what y'all doing. Y'all need to like, subscribe, share, follow us on all social media platforms. We're a Ball Stop Podcast 101 on everything. But if you want to see our full length interviews, you got to check out our Patreon channel and our YouTube membership package. And that's where you can find all of our full length interviews before anything drop. You'll be the first to see it. Thank me later. Hey, man. Hey, man. We got a special guest in here today, y'all. He don't need no introduction. He frequents the show. He's family. This guy right here always show up, always answer the phone for me. Um, when I got in this game, man, uh, he one of the guys that stick out. Is I love to interview this guy. It's only a few of them, man. But check it, man. My boy, Lil Soldier Slim, is in the building one more again. Back out here in Dallas. Man, in the D, man. They get mad at, up there in, uh, up in uh, Detroit when we say the D, nigga, but we the triple D around this old <laughs> man. <laughs> What's going on, man? And I'm laid back. I've been seeing you on the internet. I've been seeing you a little bit, not a lot, but I a little did. bit. I've, I've been, I've been trying to lay back. You know what I'm saying? But they still be spinning me. They still be trying to get me out. I think it's, I think it's hard to lay back with, with, with the thing that overshadows you with your dad being Soldier Slim. Fact. You know what I'm saying? I you agree. can't, you can't just lay back. I remember when I came out of New Orleans and I was gonna bring you to the uh, House of Blues and. Uh, I told that guy, I'm like, yeah, my boy coming. When he get here, you know what I'm saying? Just let him up. He with me. I said, uh, it's, it's a little so slim. Oh, slim? Oh, he ain't worried about nothing like that right here. But it's like, that's a good thing, but that could be a bad thing. Because sure. the, the good got to outweigh the bad. I put in a lot of work to get in that position, though. Because at first, they, they used to be spending me like, it, it was crazy at first in the beginning. And all that work is not just because of your daddy. No, nah, most definitely. I, I put in that work to put get in that. that work. That's good. I was just telling my partner eager to like, if I could just get like five, ten million dollars, I could buy a regular life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I might move to like Columbia. I figured you would. You know what I'm saying? And just chill. Would you? Move out the country and just chill. Like want a regular life. Yeah. Chill. Cause you know, a lot Way of these back. young kids, a lot of these young kids strive to be celebrities, strive to be, be in the limelight, so want to be famous so bad. I just bad. want that bag. I just see like I said, what messed me up. A lot of people used to be like, man, you so just slim, son, you supposed to be, you supposed to have money. Mm. And I ain't had no money. So I just, <laughs> want, I just wanted money. But don't you think God work it out that way sometime? I think God lets it happen because it keeps you humble. You know, sometimes if you yeah. get that money at the wrong time, you can even look back and say, man, I ain't telling what I would have done. Man, I got, when I ran my first bag up, I probably was like 20, 21 years old. I went crazy. See? Who was, was doing everything? Who was buying every gun? It was everything. Like, it wasn't nothing we wasn't doing. That's Standing hard. On. Man, you know, um, you, you, you got to understand, man, when I look on the internet, I'm always seeing something, man. It was a, a deal where uh, I think it was a Big Gip. Big Gip shot at your daddy out. Yeah. And um, he said that he was a real one. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, a real stepper. Like, he, if he said he'll do it type situation. Um, how many of those stories do you hear like that? Everybody got that story. Everybody. But you know, a lot of people don't got. So th th that that's really the difference in people who really, you know, people who met him, and people who really knew him. Yeah, yeah, people who met him and people who really knew him, it, it's crazy. But at the end of the day, I think because Big Gip, you know, he been on, he been doing his uh, interview runs here lately. He was able to, you know, he tapped into that situation where like, hey man, I gotta shout him out because if you get opportunity, you knew him. From what I'm seeing, everybody loved. Your pops, when it come down to the way he carried himself in the hood, he, even the even the niggas who didn't like him, who did have a problem with him at the time, they they still act like they, you know what I'm saying. So a lot of that you you asked that one time. And that's the thing. I, I was just about, I was just thinking about that question is the fact that okay, because I've met okay every time we go to New Orleans or anytime we talk to anybody about oh, so the slim, everybody's like, oh man, we love him, we love him, we love him. But I met one person who from down there, they live up here now, and they was like, all oh, that's fake. They only do that now that he's gone, he's but gone. whenever he was there, they didn't show him that type of love when he was alive. Yeah, that's it, just like, I was watching this, this interview on uh, UTP Skip did. He was like, I seen that niggas, one. He was like, niggas was messing with Slim, but they wasn't messing with him like that. They wasn't even booking for $2,000, you know mm. what I'm saying? Like, real talk. 
Yeah, and and so yeah, because I hadn't heard Skip even speak in a minute. Like to see that interview, I was happy to see that. Like so, so you did watch that one. Mm -hmm. and, and and the one thing I, I can say, I don't care who you interview, where you interview them, if you interview anybody in New Orleans, is your dad name is coming up, bro. For sure. And others, and not just New Orleans, but in the South, man. I, but, I, but how does that make you feel when you know to hear that when he was here they didn't give him that love, but now that he's gone, they're trying to give him love. How? I mean, I know, to me, that's I, sort of like fake. That's fake love. I know what it was. It's cut through for a reason. Mm. I know what it was. I mean, wow. I, I I I get it because, like I said, when you deal with uh, certain people, it, it it's good and bad every time mm. you look around. Like you gonna meet a lot of people to see me. Like man, that nigga used to be in them streets and 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 whoop -de -whoop -de, and he was cool. But then this other one's gonna say he wasn't cool. But one, but one thing about it, at the funeral, everybody say something nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody trying to be cool, and he was a good man, you know, and I think that kind of thing happens a lot when it comes down to individuals. Only one funeral I know when the dude got up, he was like, this dude wasn't really no good. Like, like He must have been really a messed up person. <laughs> like, thought that he wasn't no good. Uh, but that person he, is totally honest. Yeah, he ended up getting killed because yeah, it was, yeah. he was just putting himself in the wrong situation. Like, is that is that wrong? You think somebody would say that at a funeral? Nah, that's the truth. Like the we truth ought to have you, most. You can't be mad at the truth. That's real. You can't be mad at the truth because if I'm out here, think about it. If if I meet you, I, I met you, and I met y'all, and y'all was like, man, you was a good dude. But everybody else that you know that met me, I robbed them. Mm -hmm. That would be bad, but he'll be like, hey, he was cool to us. Like we liked him, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? We spent a lot of time around him. He didn't never he do that like that. That was dope. Right. But we just had favor with him. Mm -hmm. And I, I think I, I bet it, it is people out there like that too. Mm -hmm. That just don't rock with it's everybody. People, it's people like that about me, so I I know. It it can go down. So And my dad was getting shot up early in age. You said that last time, but like like when you hear the stories of him getting shot. Cause it was uh, uh, my grandmother told me these stories though. Yeah, but Mo, it, was, it was Mobo Joe just came on here. He was talking about it uh, about him going to jail a time before I believe he said. Was it him that said that? Mm -hmm. I mean, it was. Uh, it, it basically his history pretty much unfolded right in front of everybody quickly in the nineties, right? Mm -hmm. In the nineties, everybody was seeing it, but he was the next one to blow. Right, like, like he was right there at it. Like he was gonna be the biggest thing ever come through New Orleans. Do you believe that? From the stories you hear, or do you think that would have been? Because I always in say the nineties. Yeah, because I no. I always say Mo three. Like, like he got a lot of love now. The outside song big. It'd be but, like that. But I told him niggas, man, if he would have still been living, I don't know if the outside song would have been as big because. He would have been doing other stuff. He wouldn't even been focused on that like that. He trying to get to the next big thing. Mm. Even though the song blew because he died, it say, That's why Jesus, blew, please give me and feel my knees. Some of those verses, they touch a place where they wouldn't have touched if he was living. Hey. Right? Most definitely. But now it's the biggest song. Lil Dirk just remade that song. My daddy when the, in the 90s, no. In the 90s, he was Slim Reaper. Okay, he was. What was that? Explain Slim Reaper. He just he just was doing his thing. He was in and out of jail. He always had charges and like real serious charges and stuff. You know what I'm saying? He was doing this. He was. So right after that, Tupac Tupac gets killed in like '96, and then No Limit and all that. He ended up down there, and he he's on No Limit, mm -hmm. and everybody's referring. That was his to first. Him. That was his first chance. That was his first deal ever. That wasn't his first deal ever. He had. You know, smaller opportunities previously, but that was his first real chance. To him, like my all right, when my cousin Gateway Hound, who was just talking, was at my cousin's funeral um Saturday. And he you know, both of them ended up on no limit. Mm. My dad and his cousin. Hound. What was his cousin's name? Hound. Okay. Hound. 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 Okay, Hound. Mm -hmm. And yeah. he was, they did it the same time? Yeah, the same time. They had the song me and my cousin. Okay. Feel me? So he was just like to them they was like, Man, Man, we really cousins, and we both ended up on, you know, we only got mm -hmm. two labels in the city, Cash Money, No Limit, and both of us end up on, the same you know one. what I'm saying? We, mm -hmm. we, got our, we got our opportunity from where we come from, for our, where our family come from. Feel me? Wow, that's big. Yeah. It's huge, actually. So that was like his first real opportunity. And and he ended up, I guess, he how, did he stay on there until Soldier got killed, or did he, he was already off and gone? Nah, my dad went to Dell. 
My dad went to jail. Nine to seven. A nine eight, something like that. And I, I forgot how he ran it to me, but he he yeah, he wasn't on the label at all. Wow. So you you fast forward, you know what I'm saying? You you go to you you de- you decide you are gonna rock with the cutthroat. You are gonna do the whole. You you gonna be a part of because you already born into it. Well, at first I used to. You say you used to run from it. I used to run from it, but I just used to be like to the bone, to the bone. That's why I be saying cutthroat to the bone, because I just <laughs> had to cutthroat to it because they was like you gotta, like a lot of people pushed me to it. do it and a lot of people was pushing me away from it, but honestly, I just sat down with my grandmother the other day and she was like you know, I ain't never told you this but I'm really proud of you like really you really went out. And you did everything you said you was gonna do, and you ain't wait on nobody. I ain't see you falling behind nobody, running behind nobody. She was like, when I used to be talking to you, I ain't never think you listened to me. But the way you move and the way you live your life, you showed me everything I said didn't go to waste. Wow. How that made you feel? I, I was like, in my head, I wanted to tell her, like, I'm a Virgo, so I really want to tell her. I already knew that. <laughs> yeah, I already knew. It. Like, wow. How how big is that though? How how big is you and your your your, your grandma's relationship? And, and and how different is it being that your dad's not here? We could be real closer. We could be closer. It's not like, like we talk, but it'd be a lot of reminiscing and in the conversations. Mean. So I always ran from it. You know what I'm saying? You don't like to... When I look at it, like, like when she look at me, like, you know, that's what I remind her of. And you could tell, like, you could see it in her eyes, like, you know what I'm saying? But, that, but being... Okay. Being a mother, to me, I, it's like that would bring me joy. You understand? As much as yes, it's reminiscent, and for you, you might think she that that's hurt. hurt. That. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. But then, put it this way: if your dad had passed away and he didn't have no kids, you understand what I mean? It'd be like he's just gone. But then, when that person leaves somebody behind, it feels like a part of them is still here. You understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. So for a parent, it feel like you're still here. Although it hurts, because yes, she's looking at you and thinking about him, but still, she's happy. I, well, I can't say she's happy because I can't really talk for her. I'm just speaking from a mother's point of view. You know what I mean? Yeah. So maybe you need to just ask her that. Because assuming it, you never know. Maybe she just, you know, she's just We happy. just not getting to the, to the point where- To talk? We, we we break a, we break a lot of ice with conversations. Okay, you know what I'm saying a lot of stuff that we never would have talked about. We just not getting to it. That's good. She just not asking me for more help on certain things. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying that she never done before. That's good. And I always wanted that. Like that's why I used to run from it because she kind of like used to push me away mm-hmm. from it for real. Like you know what I'm saying in the mm-hmm. beginning she she used to be like. You don't need to follow your daddy footsteps. Like, I, I never understood it until my cousin broke it down to me. Like, my same cousin, I don't know, this was a couple mm-hmm. years ago. I was like 18. He was like, you got to understand, like, my my cousin lost his life to this. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Of course she don't want you to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And she I has a fear in her yeah. heart about so it. So that's what it was the whole time. But mm-hmm. just just of how I move, like, like you know, yeah, I don't hang mm-hmm. with nobody. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I, I got mm-hmm. my people with me this day just out the right. screen. I was like, man, look, come ride to Dallas with me. You feel me? Right. Yeah, like wow. she like that though. That's but good. When you you, I just seen you the other week. You was on uh off the porch. You and my yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah me you and Peach is off the porch. She asked me to come with us, so I drove out though. Wow, how did you? How did, and you were so laid back. I always be proud of you when I see your I be interviews. Chilling. I, lo- I <laughs> love you. Know, I love the way. I like that's my guy right there. Like he ain't out here popping it. They, be he, they to know what it out. is. They be trying damn, to what the me out, think, you me? So I just let them think what they gonna think. It is what it is. Yeah. I ain't got no points to prove on um, whatever story you think, whatever, is whatever, however you want to put it. So um, that was your second time on that on that on that uh, platform, right? Yeah, yeah. So like, how, and that was Peach's first time. Yeah. So how did you, did she have a good time? Yeah, she she really. Long as she, she enjoyed was, she herself, she was happy about it. Yeah, yeah. That's long as she enjoyed herself, she enjoyed Atlanta. You know, for people like us, and get invited on certain platforms, like it's like 
y'all giving us our flowers. Mm. Man, we come for you though. A lot you of people be talking that talk, saying whatever in the car. I don't be caring about none of that. I just know that this platform is here to 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 celebrate. I don't pay. I don't pay them no mind. You know what I'm saying? To celebrate, like my we life celebrate. Is what it is, like I ain't like my partner just told me my partner eagle. He was like, man, Slim, I ain't gonna lie. Man, you living better than all these rap <laughs> niggas out here. He said, man, you really got it. You really got the big old house. You, you know what I'm saying? Riding fly like, yeah, you really having it. You feel mm-hmm. me? And, that, and you should be proud of the moves you made. And how do you think your dad would feel about the moves you made since you've been moving on? My, my, my grandma told me, he was, he was, like, I'm turned up. Like, the way she put it to me, she was like, you turned up. Like, I'm happy. Like, she was like, think about it. Even if you did have your ups and downs, you know, you went to jail. Ooh, 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 ooh. She was like, you always shook back. You always got yourself out of out of bad situations. Like yeah. that's hard. Like like I I just I, I definitely know that it's a thing where, you know, you just have to you you have to keep holding on, bro. You know For what sure. I'm saying? And you, you can't, can't and give then, up. You, then kids make it even more. If you got kids and all that, you can't give it up. Make you drive. It make you drive man, harder. make you go harder. And that's the whole game. Like, and I think that's what pretty much pushed us to that. But to even that before mode. kids, what always pushed me was I used to be like, man, I could quit today and tomorrow could be my day. <laughs> Real talk. Wow. Even today, like I'm 27 years old, I still tell myself that. Wow. wow. I heard Peaches say that the museum thing. She she wanted to uh, she done changed it over to a museum. At first, we was talking about a movie last time. Now we still, we still. So you think the, the movie, movie out of take, museum is the more movie important? Gonna take a lot. Okay. The museum can be done quickly. Yeah. So I'm, and it would be something I, people will enjoy. Honestly, man, I kind of want to do like a biography movie on him, or an autobiography movie mm-hmm. on him, because it'll be me doing it. Yeah. Um. Well, it'll be us doing it. You know what I'm saying I kind of want to do that, but then I kind of want to do like a series on like. Cause that's what every, everybody doing now is. But serious. I want it to be like I don't want it to. I, I want it to be how everybody painted him to be, because you know a lot of stuff be over exaggerated. Mm-hmm. Like I want him to be. Like the biggest person in New Orleans, like literally walking around, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I kind of want the show to be like that because that'll be fire too. Wow. That, that's a good idea because yeah. the series could be that it won't be like, uh, you know, 100%. It's just like the BMF thing. Like, yeah. it was kind of true, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it ain't, but it ain't, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I definitely. Uh, what did I see? I seen you. Did you freeze? Did you, you go on Rap Economics? Yeah. How was that? You know, I've been like that with them for a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah, I talked to him the other day on yeah, the phone. Kurt. I mean, like, no, the um, other one. Um, Charleston? No. Oh, Prez. Prez, yeah, isn't that Kurt? Yeah, me and him talked the other yeah. day. First, second time, but the first time he couldn't get through. Yeah. This we, time we've been he... Locked in, we've been like this. How like was it going on his show? It was cool. It was? It was cool. Yeah. That's hard, man. Like I said, you, did you feel That's like... the first you, people you I, like I you got it off? with in Texas. It was fire. Like, I ain't, I ain't getting no bad feedback. Yeah. They, yeah. they like the song, so, you know what I'm saying? I just... You just did what you do. Yeah, that was my first time like performing though, like in a minute, like you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the door. It was acapella. Okay, okay. Um, you know, it's just a beat. Yeah, and you went in. Mm-hmm. Man, do you like doing it like that? That doing that type of. Setup? I need to start practicing more. <laughs> it's been a, like you know, I used to perform a lot when I was younger. Like it's been a minute. I don't really, you know, I I, I broke away and I didn't really jump back into hiring the people, putting the people back into place to get me to do certain things that I used to do. I seen you on some younger pictures when I was looking you up over at Sharani. Sharani's at Peaches. You, I was wild. You was wild and you was little. You was slim. Wow. I like 120 pounds. Yeah, pounds. yeah. Real talk. Grab my partner, Willa. Man, this, he, used to, he used to always crack jokes about this, but I used to have this thing I'd do where I'd grab a nigga by their pockets, by their pants pockets. Yeah. You feel me? And nigga. I could pick you up by your yeah. pants pockets. Like, you were you know kicking it. Yeah, it'd just be like little stuff like that. Like I, I used to have little engineers and stuff. We used to be getting into it about our music. I used to put niggas in chokeholds. Oh yeah. <laughs> so they be jokes and they used to be like, man, leave him alone, do a while. Like they used to be jokes and stuff. But and then like even the serious stuff when they got like I played and I get serious or whatever you want to do. Like you know what I'm saying? So yeah. What about this? Uh, uh, when you hear that song slow motion for me with your pops on it, like how do you how do you feel about him and do that? That's one of the bigger songs, right? Well, you know. I got the original version, so I don't, like, I, I, I like that it's a big song, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I, I just went back and listened to the original version and just, I be studying the art of it, how they put it together, you know what I'm saying? Okay. The art of making the hit. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I look, That's what I look more into it because I'm able to get an inside scoop on it. Do you like the, the original version better? 
I mean, nah, my dad had not perfected it yet, but it, you know, it was just him. Then he put Juvenile on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was just him and that's his song. I, I love that song. I, I think that was a dope song, man. Just to, just, uh, just the way he he hit that. He hit that whole man, and, and like I say, anything he get on, it, it, it had that energy on it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you know he he never really got it. Well, him or his family never really got the compensation they was supposed to. Really? Yeah. How does that work though? It's politics. But you see what I'm saying? Because, and this is after they put that out after he passed, right? Yeah. So how would that not? How would it not? It's go? Politics. I don't get it. I don't because after somebody passed away, you would think people would do right by them. People don't do right by people, especially Never. not where we're from. Ever. Yeah. And then like I ain't, I can't just point no fingers at who didn't do right, who ain't. You know what I'm saying? Because you know it'd be managers, it'd be labels, it'd be. You know what I'm saying? But did did the family get anything? Yeah. But it just what and it's still. What about like? Nah, it, it, it wasn't the due diligence. Yeah, and and like far as the the the, the publishing and the stuff that nah. all the stuff, none of that ever is, is not still a thing. I don't want to say too much. Okay, all right, I'm gonna get out of it. You know what I'm saying? But it's just crazy because that was such a big song. You would think that that one would be one that because they still playing it like crazy today. Mm-hmm. And um, so what about that? Uh, from what I was told, man, I just like I'm just not sitting down going through a lot of his paperwork and stuff, and it's fucked up. Really, you still you still dealing with that? Yeah. Because you would be the one that would have to deal with it. Well, the whole estate, but like I said, my grandmother not really hands-on, so it's just me and my auntie, and my auntie got what she got going on. So I'm the only one just out here making the moves. Like, well, like my auntie, she make a lot of moves too. You know, she can, but she work her job. Yeah. So I be trying to make, like... You trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out. But it's a learning process, and but then at the same time, and, and is there... Is that right? No, so go you know ahead. So this is a problem that I, that I be having. Like, a lot of lawyers... That I be connecting with, and you can tell when I start saying certain stuff, they, they get scared. Yeah, because they know you already know certain things. No, so they, they know they're gonna have to go against certain individuals. Exactly. Oh, okay. And like, it's it's majors, you know what I'm saying? So they not really like they don't be trying to they be trying to spin me, but it's a process. It's but then, way. um, okay, even if they gotta go against some of them, look at their reputation and stuff like that, but. Is there a statute like on limitation was, on on how long it takes for you to try to sort it out? So is there? It, that's what the lawyer told me. But okay. Then on my way out, I'm telling my partner about it. Um, you know what I'm saying? We we chopping it up. So he like Google it. We Google it. And no, it's not a There's statute limitation. It's ninety five years. Wow. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wow. So so you can take as much time as you want to try to figure this out. But I'm pushing it. But that's it, cause, and you cause think I you have a good case for it? You got a hell of a case. It's, it's bad business. But you know, but when I say a good case, because you know, politics run a lot of this stuff. Right. Meaning, um, it's not just going to be straight laced and here it is, and this is all you need to do, and that's it. You're going to have to go through a lot. It's going to be a process because, of just the way that that a lot of the business with, like even with like. His first situation, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot, like it's a lot. And my grandmother was going through it, and really, I wish like when she was going through it during the time I was old enough. So I wish she would have brought me in on it then, mm-hmm. and I could have been more on top of it. She didn't stay on top of it like she should. So yes, yeah, it's, it's nothing. Like we just not like. But it ain't like you lost anything. It's never, you- it's never been no sort of slim money in the family for us until this year. Mm. Oh really? Real time. Wow. But like, you, like, like people don't, people don't understand like why, why we act the way we act. You know what I'm saying? Like my grandma was a janitor and a cafeteria worker for a long time. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Then she started a little cleaning business. Like, you know what I'm saying? So just like, imagine if that was your mom, you was in that situation. You feel me? And I know you put, I, I know you carried on your shoulder being the 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 man. Right, and you know I work hard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So everything I did, like I I was laying it down out here. But the thing is But it's the business. It, it's the business, but it's really a thing where you would be the guy that would be like, man, let me figure this out. Yeah, because if not, 
Right. And we just continuing to, like, we still building what we have going on personally on our own, me and my auntie, but we could be doing it a little more comfortable. Yeah, and, 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 and I think he would want you to do that. Yeah, oh, of definitely. course. He, he would he want you to like, do that. He definitely course. wouldn't want me doing what that I sit do. sit down and, yeah. You know I'm rocking. He yeah. definitely yeah. wouldn't want that. But he definitely would want you going and trying to figure his legacy out because that's what he would be doing. He'd probably be bad. Enough, but he, it it would have been bad. He'd probably been locked up. Yeah. He'd probably been locked up about that. Yeah, because he ain't, he ain't, gonna let, he ain't letting you make it. Yeah. But then the, thing, you know, the only thing I think about, it, and the reason why I say it's just this industry, because even like when you watch Straight Outta Compton and you saw them boys... Um, on tour, doing their thing and whatever, and then, and then somebody said, somebody said up in a news conference said to you know Ice Cube, hey, you know what you do with all this money that you be making? And at that time, he wasn't really making no money. He just was quiet because he was like, what money? I ain't making all that money, and that that's what made him go and ask the question. But even then, he was still getting runarounds. That's the business. So that's what I'm saying. Being it's the business. It, I, learned, I learned that that's the business. Like, I got partners that sign to labels who you would think they get money. Mm-hmm. And I'm living better than them. Mm-hmm. I believe that. I believe that 100%. That's right. Like, they going, they on tours and, you know so what I'm saying? Is they, it they that got they a lot don't of opportunities know what that I didn't get, but I'm living better than them. Is it that they don't know the knowledge? They don't know what to do? Because you can't tell me that every artist, even starting out, all of them are broke so to say you have to have some that you know came in the game had the knowledge stand upon what they believed in and did a lot and, of them and, still independent right they never signed to nobody because it didn't make sense mm-hmm. like i never I, I turned down a lot in the beginning because it didn't make sense and i was mm-hmm. having money you know i didn't understand the business like i used to watch a lot of interviews of people i looked up to like young thug you know what i'm saying and he was like well my, my first deal was Horrible. It was the worst day ever. But I had to work myself out of it. Mm-hmm. And if I would have had that mentality, that would have been different for me. But I was like, I'm young. I'm thugging. I'm trapped out. Like I'm having paper. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I got my own. Crib. You don't need it. I don't mm-hmm. need it. Like I got a hundred racks in my closet right now. I can go touch. You feel but me? But the people who get caught up in it is the people that need it. Who need to pay help their mama, daddy. Who need to set people up. Want to get their house. Who ain't got the money. Who ain't got the resources. So they're the ones who and they always really get. They don't really have no hustle, so they looking for the quick, the quick, easy. They just rely on their talent. Yeah. That's it. Wow, I gotta ask you about the elephant in the room, man. Uh, Magnolia Dana, uh, she hit me up. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I, well, she didn't, but her people did, and I, why, I, I didn't why really. You have to say the elephant in the room. Because, he does that all the time. Oh, no, he that's the that thing I'd say, but I know what he. I know this nigga crazy. <laughs> oh. That's what they be saying in the comments. <laughs> No. no, you know she went on Instagram and she was like, "Hey y'all, it's Magnolia Dane, and I'm looking for love after Soldier Slim." I didn't see it. No, I man, didn't know that. Man, people were sending me that man. The comments were so crazy. Ah, I was like, oh. Did somebody call her that or something? Man, them people be going hard on the internet. They be going hard on me, but they be going hard. But I, I seen. The, I, I shout out to the, uh, the Magnolia twins too. I seen them say some stuff too. You know, far as about you know about. The situation. I don't really know them. Yeah, but they called me one day. Yeah, I don't know them. They called me like on the on the on the on the phone mm-hmm. uh, with somebody else. Somebody knew me. People do this all the time. And um, but at at the end of the day, you said that you would give a blood test. Man, I don't even did want you, to get did back you, into that because she tried to play on me. But that's what I do. Still gotta say. To, that's what I do. Gotta say like. Like me and my grandma. Like me and my grandma just had this conversation. My dad had been with me since the day I was born and the day he died. And we got pictures to prove it. So just post your pictures. So she has never posted a picture of him with her son no. at all? Okay. No, or posted a picture with her and him? No. Nothing. So I don't think she can. Like, even before me, it's pictures of my mom and my dad are together with right. pictures. You feel me? Like, like why not post? Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. Cause he was a person that if he if he had a child he definitely would when she even, even like I said even if she hit it, he wouldn't but, if she, but even if she had hit it from him because you have some females out here who will be like mad at a man and be like I'm not gonna even tell him but if that's the case and she was you know rocking with him or whatever she would have had a picture with him not even maybe not with a child but with him that's what I'd be thinking I don't know I, I ain't seen nothing man my daddy got kids I write on my last interview I was like if I had a brother it'd be this dude, Stanley Morgan, he played for the Bengals. 
Really? Yeah, because my daddy was with his mama, like, in a relationship. They got pictures together, like, family pictures. Mm. Like, my daddy, Monique, and Stan, you know what I'm saying? It's pictures of me and Stan together, like. When you was a baby? Yeah, I used to go, like, I, this is my brother. You feel me? He introduced me and was like, this your brother. Wow. Yeah, he just, he played for the Bengals. So, see, so you're and not he against. He's not out here talking about. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're not against man, I having still, a brother man, and I used like that, but Listen, proof. like, Stan would really be my brother. Like, we. Even after my daddy died, we spent summers together. We spent Christmases together. You know what I'm saying? His mama always came, got me. His mama always mm. showed me love, like bought me clothes. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's dope. Real talk. Like, so it's, that's that's all I got to say about that. Like, I, don't, I ain't trying to put down on nobody. I don't, I don't no. got nothing to gain out that. And I don't, if, if her son just want to be a little soldier slim that bag, have it. Like, I don't, I'm trying to give me some paper and be a regular nigga. Yeah, but, but he he's still incarcerated, though, from what I hear. Shit, but... That, People be wanting, you know what I'm saying? People be wanting to, ah, right, fuck. I don't want to say that because they was like, oh, y'all trying to make it like she want clout, but this generation is just full of, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to get some paper and get up. I don't never want to be seen. I don't care about having no Instagram, no YouTube, no none of none that. Of like, if I, if, I was, if I inherited any paper from my dad and there, it would never be me, period. It wouldn't be no little soldier, no rabbit, none you of that. But let me ask you a question, though, because, okay, um, cause when you mentioned clout, but at the same time, like I like to take myself out of whatever shoe or you be unbiased, so to say, right. by party. So had, before she that. went, hold on, before she went to social media, to anything where everybody could see, has she ever came to the family and say, Hey, um, this is a situation I need um, blood test if you want to be reassured you know to speak to the family first before she actually went to social media do you know of that she never wrote my grandmother mm -hmm. she never went to her, none of that the first message this lady ever talked to me was what date look, like if you look on my Facebook mm -hmm. it's March 6th 2017 alright so look my daddy had this partner log of black mm -hmm. feel me and he in jail. Like, I used to be with him and everything, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But he ain't never mentioned this. Like, never, ever. Never mm -hmm. told me nothing about it. So he was in jail. He was like, man, you know, I think um, he had this chick. She was my our project. And I think your dad had a baby by her. Woo -woo -woo. He was like, man, you know, I just want you to link up with her. You feel me? I'm like, all right, cool. I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? It was 2017. So she wrote me and she said, hey, your uncle Logger said, you want to meet my son. We need a number on you. But I ain't even write her back. Kill me. I ain't even write her back. But like, so that's why like I wasn't trying to put her down like she be lying in my last interview, but I ain't never met her son. She can't say I met her son. I don't know, dude. I ain't never met him. So you never him. met him, but I she never said y'all she said y'all linked up, but man, if I linked up with him, then I'd be saying, Yeah, I linked up mm -hmm. with him. I first met At him. 13. You feel me? At thirteen, I ain't he would have remembered that at 13. You would have remembered at that. At 13, I was thugging. Right, you would have remembered that. My cousin who just got killed, he gave my first gun when I was 13 years old. Feel me? Wow. Real talk. Like, I was in the yeah, city. I'm you outside. You would have remembered that. I used to be all in Vasos and everything, 13, 14 years old. Like, I'm outside. I'm on Frenchman Street. Real talk. Wow. That was that dude. Like I said, I, I, just, I, I just know it's going around. It's everywhere on the internet. Everybody, you know, posting it, reposting it. And at the end of the day, if there's no validity... How does that make you feel at the end of the day? I was only trying to offer some sincerity. That's the only reason I spoke on it in the first place. I don't, I don't give a fuck about it. Yeah, fuck yeah. it ain't my kids. I got three kids of my own. <laughs> fuck, I wish me hell she was here to handle his business for real. Ain't had got shit to do with me. Yeah, feel yeah, me. I just yeah. don't want my grandma worrying about it. Like, cause she be calling me. Like you could tell when she bothered with something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She don't really, she don't call me like that. But if something going on, she gonna call me like. She calling like you know what I'm saying. Her but, name don't really pop up on my phone, but if something going on. She, she calling. So it bothers you her. Tell, like I don't like I just was trying to be a helping hand to everybody. You know what I'm saying? That's the only reason I was like, whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But wouldn't yeah. be the only way to squash it is to do like a test or something. Would, would yeah, but I don't know. If, I don't know if that. Is, I mean, did, did nothing ever come of that? I don't think you hadn't talked to this lady, have you? She, he said no. So, so ain't nothing coming at that. I could just let you read all the messages from any time I talk mm -hmm. to her. And not face to face, I should say. I never seen her face to face. Right? Oh, you never, you never met her. It just, it just Facebook. Like, you never know what I'm met. Her. She found me on Facebook and just. Uh, 
And by the time she wrote me, I had my first child. Like, mm. you see it say March 2017, my first right. child born. February, I got a birthday on me. February 13th, Ooh, she talking about her effed up. And so she did contact you before she actually went to social media because she only went to social media last year where when she came out in the open. She, she no, she came out. She she went to social media right after that too. Oh, right after that. Okay, because yeah. nobody really heard. I don't, we only heard about it. It was just like Facebook. That was before she just started doing interviews and stuff. Oh, okay, you know what that's what it was. But like I said, even if that's not my business, you know. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? No, I just was. You know, know how you take I, you, t you come out of the. If he was his girlfriend, people would be like, "Yeah, he was his girlfriend." So, you said that, uh, that got to be a lie. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What the hell? Well, that's a long ass message. I'm telling <laughs> you, she book. was sending me. She sending me books. She just. You see the dates? I ain't. You know what I'm saying? I don't got nothing to lie about. Like, mm -hmm. cause I don't care at the end of the day. Like, it ain't. It ain't me. It ain't your child. It ain't your child, and we don't know if it's factual. So then my mama asked me about it. And I told her straight up, I was like, man, my honestly, if the shoe was on underfoot, like you just said, mm -hmm. you gotta look at things from every side. If that was my situation, I would not care. You because think I'm about to let my mama get on here and everybody knew my mama a flipper? Mm -hmm. Like, be for real. Like, I don't want nobody to know that about my mama. You feel me? But then also, but also, Men, okay, being a woman, men be out here doing and their thing. my mama told me. And doing their thing. And it could be a one-night thing. Maybe it's a one-night right. thing. And he did a one-night thing. Don't even, she, he may not even have known her name, so to say. And she had gotten a baby pregnant. And she was like, most women would be like, hey, I'm pregnant. Most wow. women, especially because of who he is, would have been like, I'm pregnant. But say, for instance, she didn't go to him and even say that. If that was you and you're still living, what would you want her to do? What my mama or what I want the chick to do. The chick to I do. write so boom, like I'm gonna tell you a situation about me. I got three kids that I know mm -hmm. for sure. But they had this chick that I was messing with, you know what I'm saying? Before my big mama. Right. She got a little girl. Mm -hmm. The little girl really kinda looked like my daughter. Okay. So like I contemplated on it for a long time because she had blocked me on the last scene. You know, I, mm -hmm. I go to the you know what I'm saying? I was young. I, yeah, we right. did our thing, I go to the but I really wanted to know. So I just asked her, I was like, who your child father is, you know? Mm -hmm. And she was like, who do, who do I? Okay, because you know some women would be like, I don't want you to have, especially if they, they can't but stand I, you. I don't, 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 don't be like that with my kids. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? Do you really, right. reading through these messages, do you think that she just doing this to get him support while he was locked up? While he's locked up? That's, that's what, what you got I'm, from that? Yes. Okay, I, I, I don't want people to think I'm lying. Fuck, I don't. You know what I'm doing me. That's like, what it like, sounds like. like. If you, you know read it, it seems like she's asking about letters to the parole board and all kind of stuff, like things that really you count. It's like a cry for help mm -hmm. more than anything. And the, and that was when he first probably got locked up too. It's crazy. Um, and and but she, you know, her on her interview, she said it wasn't about no money or no. She didn't need nothing. They didn't need anything from us. They just wanted him to know who his family was. Man, I mean, I, 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 like I said, you, you, it's tough enough trying to understand. That's why I ain't want people to include the music. Me in it. She shouldn't. Inc I like, ain't got nothing to do with me. You feel me? Like, yeah, my hands up. But don't include me. In what it. does it benefit to go out and just do a whole campaign on the fact that this is my? Uh, well, I guess you can make money off of it doing interviews. Man, yeah. that'd be a lot, but you definitely could do something. But I, I'm just trying to figure out the benefits of it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we can move on past that. Mm -hmm. um, man, so so the new music that you about to uh, drop, because, I, I mean. I'm you, working on this project with this fire producer, Heartbeats. Oh, you know yeah, saying? yeah, yeah, Heartbeats. I seen the dude, the dude fly, and I need to, yeah, I'm supposed to be talking to him for sure, yeah. for sure. Um, so, so what make you like the way he produced music? Well, really, man, we just vibe. You know what I'm saying? He hit me up, and he was like, he, he used to work with, um, not Beats by the Pound, one of my daddy producers he used to work under. You know what I'm saying? We was younger. He was like, man, you know, I produce for a lot of people. Tech, J.D. Youngin, you know what I'm saying? He produced a lot of J.D. Youngin. Yeah, I see the J.D. Youngin. That's, yeah, that's one of that his was, main that was his artists. That was like one of his main artists. So he was like, I just want to work with you. And I went to the studio. We did two songs. He was like, they on me. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And the next time I went, I paid for the song. Then my partner, who just died, he didn't wake up on May 8th. Is this the second one? The one one got killed? 
My cousin who funeral I just went to Saturday, he got killed on single de Mayo, May 5th. Was I, he, it, I don't even want to go there. My, but, cousin, but. my cousin was thugging. I ain't gonna he lie. Was, he, cousin, he was in the street. That's the one I was talking about. He gave my first gun. And he, how old was he? He was 33. And how did you hear that he passed away? Man, my grandma wrote me. I ain't even opened a message. My grandma ain't even called my phone. She wrote me on Messenger on Facebook. She was like, Sam, Sam got killed this morning. And, and I, I just, I talk to him every day. Like, this is my. Oh, you talk to him every day? My blood. Like, I take him with me. Like, you know, I don't really see too many people with me, but he was one of the people you will see with me. Like, because we grew up on that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, we grew up on that type of time. Like, them, like, my brothers, him and his brother, them, like, my brothers, like, them dudes, and my cousins that's older than me. Like, I'm 27, he's 33, so he's six years older than me. But he was doing everything. Like, he, when you first got shot up, he got shot like eight times. He was like 16, 17 years old. This time he didn't make it. He only got shot one time this time, but he bled out. He got in the car, dude, and I didn't take him to the hospital. Really? Every time. He, so, did, did they catch the guy that done it? He was, the other dude, he was shooting him. The dude who shot him, he was shooting him. Yeah, he died in the shootout. Mm. Both of them died. The other dude, he got shot like nine times that day, but he was still in critical condition last time I checked. Damn. Wow. So, damn, man. R.I.P., man. Damn. It's crazy how fast things be happening out here, that bro. That was at nine o'clock in the morning. Nine in the morning? Psh, nigga getting it all nine in the morning. How do you sidestep all of this stuff, man? I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, I, like I said, that, was, that nigga was like my brother. For real, like he was like, I ain't got no big brothers, you know what I'm saying? That was my big brother, like he don't, he was one of them cousins who don't play about his family, like don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, and we was close, like we grew up close, real, real close, like, I don't really know how to just explain it all the way, like, I spent every summer, every holiday with them. And you never would've Only thought- time I didn't spend with him when him and his brother was in and out of jail. And you never would've thought this would've happened? Nah, because, I mean, I knew cousins still thugging, but, man, we just got away from so much. You know what I'm saying? Like, the stuff we used to do and the stuff we that was, was way on. way worse. You know what I'm saying? Way worse. Like, I ain't, I wasn't expecting that right now. Then he got, got married, like, cuz died oh, he married. he just got married. Man, he ain't just getting married. He got married, like, two years ago. Still, that's You know what I'm saying? Trying like, to yeah, change like, his life around. Yeah, like, he he started, he, he, he started, when he was younger, he started a brass band, started his own band. So he had, he, he was going hard when he was younger. He started going to jail, you know what I'm saying? He started being more on the street, so he was getting back into the band a little more. He was supposed to play at Essence Fest that day. So, mm. Wow. And, and and then and that happened that morning. Is it was it old beef, you look think, or, or was it something that just happened they on the street? They said it was arguing over some money. They said it was arguing over some money. Wow. Something simple. And now both of them pretty much in the situation where he passed away and the other one could pass away. I, I just, man, like I said, man, I want you to be careful out there, man. We love you, bro. You family. I don't go to New Orleans no more like that. Yeah, I know. I had to, I got I'm you down the last time. I'm chilling. I'm, man, I'm living. I'm living good. Like, man, I, psh, I don't even be But crazy brag. stuff can happen anywhere. You just have to be able to. You got to be on game. You got to be on point. Exactly. I'm not about to argue with no nigga, though. Bypass I don't care what it is. All it, that it, stuff. It, 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 it be over a million dollars. Mm. And you better not have a million dollars right there because I'm going to just hit you and go on by my business. <laughs> For real, I got that's enough money to buy me. A, you know what I'm saying? Buy right. me out my situation. Well, yeah, that, 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 the, the thing you gotta understand, man, is the devil be setting traps, my brother. Yeah. He knows how I to try to put some. Now, now you just said that your 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 other cousin passed away in his sleep. I found my uncle, no, my partner. It's your my, partner. My partner. He was 26 years old. The dude hard beast. Yeah, I ain't never went to the studio without my partner. Like wow. it's my partner. Like he. He, we used to work together a lot. Like he helped me make a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? We helped each other make a lot of money. Like and he just, I ain't know he had his health was bad like that. That's why we got this tattoo for him. Feel well, me? he got like a sleeping disorder. Man, nah, he had diabetes. And how old was he? Twenty something. Twenty six. Twenty six. But they ran in his family. And he knew he had it and everything. Yeah, yeah. If I thought he had it, but he didn't really take no medicine. Take care of himself and stuff. What was so they say he had been throwing up all night, like can't that breathe. Stuff would kill like you. then he went took a shower. They say he used to go get in the shower and like go to sleep in the shower. You know what I'm saying? But his girl was like, she called the ambulance. And he was trying to catch his breath, and she went outside to get the ambulance. And she came back in. And he was dead. Wow. So it's very important to make sure you get that di- diabetes checked. Yes, cause diabetes is a killer. Y'all, please don't mess with that. 
Wow. Man, so how you holding up with all these with back, back to back, uh, you know, incidents like that? Because I seen it on your page. And then the day after that, my cousin died. You, this the third person? Yeah, it's the third person. It's funeral this Saturday coming up. They always say it comes in three. Cousin. How did he pass away? Man, they say he was in the hotel with some strippers. And the, oh, they say they, they had the strippers on camera coming out with all this stuff. Yeah, so I don't know if they slipped something on him, but they say he died from massive heart attacks. Nine out of ten, yeah, they slipped, slipped something, something on, on him. him. Yeah, How old was uh, he? He was like fifty. Oh, older. But guy. he had just, cuz had just shook back like for like two years. He was messed up. He was in an eighteen wheel accident. He actually got like ten million dollars. Mm. Oh, that money! I just told you about that money. They know that money they can't drive me to man. I get them. They know they try to be setting them up. Living. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You I got this nigga money. Yeah, like you're I, I done ran through a bag every year. Like every year I'm getting a bag, running through it. But you used to it. For people who not used to it and come up on money like that, they gonna floss and floss hard. And everybody, they want everybody to know that they got it. Man, cuz turned that nigga about, about 30 cars. See, Damn. I told you. I told Damn. you. You want everybody to know that you got it. Wow. Man, I, I ain't gonna lie. I, don't, I just want a mansion. Like, that's it. I just want a stupid mansion. I can move my whole family in. That's bought and paid for. You know what I'm saying? Bought and paid for. Like, <laughs> that's we, the we all going to keep it clean. We're going to keep it up. We're going to take care of each other. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, you know, uh, I hear rumors that BG about to come home. Yeah, I think BG in the halfway house. That's what I'm hearing. Um, that's going to be big. You know, did you mm -hmm. you have a relationship with BG? Nah. Never met him? Uh, uh, I, yeah, I met him. I met him a just couple of times. Just didn't really rock, like, didn't really? Had, we just ain't had no relationship. He's older, you know, so yeah, he like me. That's my daddy partner, so he would have had to reach out to me. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's you know, that that's what I'd be thinking. But did you you know, you went you went actually and seen Mac when he was I, locked I went up. And seen C Murder and oh yeah, you went to see C Murder, murder. Yeah. 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 He called for me though. Okay. He reached out so to he me reached and out wanted to me you. to come see him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he used to be calling me. I used to be I used, I was going to Jackson State at the time. So I had an apartment off campus. You know, they be having a little student apartments, and I used to have a studio, and I used to be recording and recording myself. So, are you have, have you reached back out to uh, C Murder? I talked to him like, probably like two months ago. You did? How's he uh, doing? C Murder. C Murder. He real solid, real strong minded. I be seeing his daughters, man. Yeah, like he wanted to grow up like crazy. Yeah, man. You know, I I ain't seen him in a minute, but I love them girls like my sister still. Like really. Yeah, we been, we was close, we was real, real close, but you know how life be. Like, yeah, you get older, man. That's what people don't understand. They be like, man, we was One of them stay in Houston, and I need to link up with her. Really? Yeah. Because you know, I remember them girls when they was young, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, his oldest daughter, um, Chelsea, she used to be like my manager, you know what I'm saying? Really? Like, time. Yeah, like, we was, you know. She was managing the boy. We was, we was trying, <laughs> trying whatever to figure we could, it out, right? right? We was trying to figure it out, you know what I'm saying? And that was the position she, she chose, she was, yeah. Yeah, because she yeah. wasn't going to rap, so she's like, let I'm me do manage, the business I'm part. I'm a soldier. Man, I think, I think that's dope that y'all even still get, like I said, it's hard coming up under under those shadows of, of celebrities. You see all the celebrity kids, most of the time, a lot of times, oh man, you know, they can't figure it out, or if they do figure it out, people criticizing them, but that's a whole different ball game, man. I feel I never, for that. I never tried, I never tried to go the way that a lot of Rapper kids be going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was my thing. I just fell in the life that, that was presented for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you always want to go the opposite. My whole family is is just this, what I am. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why, like, I'm young, but they look at me like I'm a big dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when is that new project? Is it going it to drop when? ASAP. I'm trying to get, uh, see, Heartbeats. He got a situation, you know. He got distribution. He got, he got, he got all this situation in place. You know, I don't got no situation. Everything I do is out my hands. So we're trying to put something together. You know, I'm trying to make it like one of them ones. Put it, put something together. Put a little situation together for it. See, how, you know, what I'm saying, see what we can really do. Get placement. Yeah, we're trying to really, yeah. Out of everybody, I've heard you talk about Snoop. I've heard you talk about. All these different people, man. Out of all of these different people, from I see everybody, they they really ride in the coattail of your father's name. Like uh, when it when it come down to just showing him love from a I love Soldier Slim. Uh, I was his. Have anybody ever reached out to you that you, that sticks out to you like this dude? Really a genuine dude that really loved my dad and willing to, he rock with me like he. Do you feel that from any one of these people? Like famous people. Any one of these famous people. The ones who keep getting on the damn documentaries. The ones who keep 
uh, every time you look around, they saying, yeah, that's that. Yeah, he was this. He was that. I done talked to a bunch of niggas that say this, but I'm asking you, have any of these niggas, any of them, you felt that genuineness? Because this is the thing. If I was passed away, I would want somebody to look out, A, for my kids, or reach out to my wife, or somebody to say, if these supposed to be my homeboys, or they really rock with me, and you see them on videos with me. A lot of my dad's relationships with a lot of famous people was fake. A lot of them. Even the ones you think might be the closest. Was fake. After he died, a lot of them niggas did fake shit. Bitch ass shit. Wow. So even if, if it was in the genuineness to it, they had done did some, some fake shit. So you know how you know how I be. So it just and that's the part, man. It's it's hard. It, it's like people say it, you see it, you kind of get numb to it because you know it, you have to start ignoring it because it really ain't it has no essence. You know what I mean? I'm just telling you from being a person who just started really looking into this whole situation, and I only been on the scene for a couple of years now. I just come into this, but I come from a different mentality. I got a partner. My best friend died. I done been to a lot of funerals. You know what I'm saying? I found my uncle dead. My daddy dead. My mama dead. Everybody gone, my nigga. So, where is this genuineness at when it come down to really we rock together? My mama fed you, nigga. We were eating at the same table, at the same bowl. You, you know, know what I'm saying? You know, when you were younger... You will hear stuff, but it, you don't never analyze it to years later. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's how it is for me in life. Not like a lot of stuff that I, sh a lot of people I should have been closer to, who told me a lot of real stuff. They did little phony stuff that that made me venture off from them. But I think back on stuff that they told me, like like a while, like probably like 2016. Okay, man, Wacko was in Atlanta. He running into me. Well, he running to me 100. You feel me? But Man, he did something. He was like, I was young. You know what I'm saying? I was young. I was petty. Like, he did something. He was like, come get him. Come get him. He going to do something for me. And he ended up doing what he said he was going to do. So I stopped going around. I stopped asking the phone for him. But I be thinking back on the conversation that he had, that con like the conversation that we had in the car when he asked me to do that for him was way more valuable than, valuable than what mm -hmm. he said. He was gonna do. It. And I'm that ain't nobody's perfect though. You gotta always and, remember. Yeah, so, and people are busy for sure. Yeah. So people not always gonna, you know, do everything they say they're supposed to do. You can't. Always. I was kind of depending on them. Oh, you know, okay. I didn't. You depending on somebody? Yeah. They psych you up. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people speak with excitement, man. But when it come down, and I'm not just, I'm not speaking on wacko, but I'm just saying in general, a lot of people speak with passion. But when it come down to making these moves and doing what you say you're gonna do. That is not as easy as saying what you're going to do. Most definitely. I think a lot of people be just talking. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I'm not talking about him. And, and it was petty. It wasn't like he told me, you know what I'm saying, he was going to pay my rent. Uh, nah, nah. It, was, it was petty, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, uh, I'm not depending on you, you feel me? So yeah. I ain't, I ain't even tell him. I just ain't out of the front of him. No you just start moving different. Yeah. You, 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 like I said, you had to have this certain chip on your shoulder, so to speak, because of the way that you see people, what is their motive behind them even dealing with you? Right? So so, so that's what that's what his conversation yeah. was based off. His conversation was really telling me like, I be saying you be woo -de -woo -de -wah, but you 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 be acting like this with them, you probably be acting like that with me. You know what I'm saying? He like, but we give him what he giving me is real. He like, a lot of people that look out for you might show you love, they really doing it out of guilt. Mm. Wow. Yeah, like he running it, and it, it hit me like years later, like man. That he gave you some real jewels. It hit me once I start dipping and dabbing into my estate papers mm -hmm. and stuff. You know, what I'm trying saying? to figure it out. Well, man, hey, man, you know, um, anything? Did I leave out anything? How can people get a hold to you if they trying to rock out with you? You know what YouTube, I'm saying? YouTube, Lil Soldier Slim. Lil Soldier Slim. No Instagram. I got Instagram. Let's so just slow. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Say, man, I, I got to ask you this question before I let you off the uh, show. If you, if you, if just, and this is a wild question, but I ask this question a lot. Like, what would you want people to remember you by? If, 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 if your legacy had to be spoken on and you weren't able to speak on it. If my legacy was spoken on, and I wouldn't speak on it. What people will remember me by was all the helping hands that I gave out 
man, I took care of so many niggas, like, made put people in way better situations than they ever would have seen without me. Feel me? I took so many losses on a chin for trying to help the next person. Mm. So it'll just be that. That's hard. What, what, what else you got? Nothing? That's it. Say, man, listen, man, we love you, man, little Soldier Slim. You always family, so I know this ain't our last interview. I know you will always come here. I don't care what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. You're going to come through here and rock out with Boss Talk 101 um, every quarter. Every quarter, when the, that new project come out, I'm gonna be. I, I'm I'm I, the, I'm you know, I gotta come to Houston too. You know, I be coming down there. Coming or I be coming to Atlanta. I got a studio in my house. You do? Yeah, we can set up. Man, see, I do. I, we can do whatever, man. Like I said, whatever you doing, I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? We need a different scenery, huh? Mm -hmm. Man, check it, man. Hey, man, listen, man. Make sure you gotta like, subscribe to Boss Talk 101, man. My guy, Lil Soldier Slim, showed up. Miss Jamaica, we did our thing up in here, man. It's been another great segment. A Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we out.